Okay, another way that we specify solution concentration is with molarity. And this is what uh, chemists use most of the time. Um, molarity is number of moles of solute per liter of solution. So in terms of an equation here in the blue box, the molarity, which is abbreviated with a capital M, is moles of solute per liters of solution. Chemists like the moles thing because when we look at balanced chemical equations, it relates numbers of particles. Mole is a counting number. Um, again, just like the uh, percent concentrations, the, the denominator is moles of solution, not moles of solvent. In the percent, when I talked to you on Thursday about first taught you about percent concentration, I told you I will try to trick you with that grams of solvent versus grams of solution thing on an exam. I will try to trick you. With molarity, we will not try to trick you, okay, just to let you know. When you make a, a solution of a specific molarity, the way you do it is you usually measure out the solute. You can't weigh it in grams, so you have to figure out how many you can weigh it in grams, you can't weigh it in moles. You have to figure out how many grams that number of moles weighs and you weigh out that amount of solution. You put it in a flask and then you add water until you get to the desired volume. That's just an overview of how you would make the solution. Um, here's pictures of that. Put the solid in, um, add water, and mix. I, I won't go into the details of that. So let's calculate the molarity of a solution made by putting 55.8 grams of sodium nitrate into a beaker and diluting to 2.50 liters. So the volume of the solution is the 2.50 liters. It's asking for molarity. So molarity, capital M, is moles of solute per liter of solution. So we're given liters of solution, but they didn't give us moles of solute. So we have to figure that out. Can we figure that out from the mass and the chemical formula? Yes, we can. Okay, so 55.8 grams of sodium nitrate and we need to find how many moles that is. So moles of sodium nitrate per gram. Bless you. Uh, we need the molar mass. What are we missing in this room? <coughs> Periodic table. That's okay, I, I know these guys. So sodium is 22.99 Nitrogen is 14.01, and we have three oxygens, each 16. We add those up, 22.99 plus 14.01 plus three times 16. The molar mass of sodium nitrate is 85. came out to be um, a whole number, but we're going to throw in two zeros there because this should have four sig figs. So that equals one mole. So then the 85 goes down here and we can calculate the number of moles. 55.8 divided by 85. 0 0.656. Anybody else get that? That sounded like a yes. So 0 0.656 moles. That's the moles of solute. That goes on the top. So 0 0.656 moles divided by the volume 2.50 liters. If that is given in milliliters, you have to convert it to liters. It has to be moles per liter. 0 0.656 divided by 2.5, 0 0.263. The 
you can write this as moles per liter. I'm going to write all the ways it might show up down here at the bottom. So 0 0.263 moles over liters is the same as 0 0.263 moles slash liters, which is much easier to type, or 0 0.263 capital M. Now, a writ handwritten M, if I write this M, is that a capital M or a lowercase m? You can't tell, right? What, whichever you pick, I can make it be the other, right? If you say that's a lowercase m, I'll say, well, no, it isn't. Oh, I totally screwed that up. Never mind. You get the point. It worked out better other, other times. What I do, what a lot of chemists do, is we underline the capital M just to indicate this is molarity, it's a capital M. Okay, you don't have to do that, but I just want to explain what I'm doing because I can't stop myself. I underline my capital M's. Any questions? Moles per liter, that sounds like a conversion factor, doesn't it? It relates moles of solute to liters of solution. So we can use this to find um, the amount of solute. So determine how many grams of sucrose are contained in 1.95 liters of 0 0.781 capital M. You would read that molar, just like your tooth. 0 0.781 molar sucrose solution. So what do I do? Nothing. Okay. So anytime you see this capital M, when you write it down on your paper, write it down as the fraction. 0 0.781 moles over liters. Because otherwise, you're going to mess it up. You're going to forget that this is a per unit that is a conversion factor. So always write it down as moles over liters. And so we've got that number. We've got this guy here. And they're asking us for how many grams. A lot of times the hard part is knowing what number do we start with, right? We usually start with the number that just has a single unit. This is not a conversion factor. It's just an amount. But this guy could be a conversion factor, right, between moles and liters. So we're starting with the 19.5, the 1.95 liters. And what are we trying to find? Grams of sucrose. Do we have anything that directly relates grams of sucrose and liters of solution? No. This factor, though, has liters of solution in it, right? So that would allow us to go from liters of solution to moles of sucrose. I'm just going to call it S. Could we go from moles of sucrose to grams of sucrose? Yeah, molar mass, right? So you'll see this combination a lot where we're using the molarity and the molar mass to figure these, these problems out. So 1.95 liters times, we want to go to moles of sucrose. And then we're going to grams of sucrose. It's all about the units. The units are going to tell us what to do. And so moles of sucrose goes down here so that that can cancel the moles up there. And then we're going to have liters down here to cancel the liters of solution up there. If you have questions, just interrupt me, please.
the molarity that was given relates moles to liters. So the 0.781 goes with moles. So 0 0.781 moles per how many liters? One. You don't have to write the one down there, but it bothers pe some people not to have the number. And then here, that's a molar mass again. Sucrose, um, they gave us the formula. So we've got 12 carbons and 22 hydrogens and 11 oxygens. And I almost remember the molar mass of that, but not quite. So I'll have to do it. 12 times 12.01 plus 22 times 1.008 plus 11 times 16, 342.3 grams of sucrose equals one mole. So that number comes in to our last conversion factor here, 342.3. So then we just go left to right, top to bottom, 1.95 times 0.781 times 342.3, 521 grams. Oh, sucrose. It seems like kind of a high number, doesn't it? But this is 1.95 liters of a solution. That's like a close to two liter bottle of soda. And we just saw there was like 300 grams of sugar in a 12 ounce can. So it's not hard to imagine that you could have 521 grams of sugar in a two liter volume. It would dissolve quite nicely. Any questions? This is all unit analysis, really. Um, I'm going to talk about this very briefly because it's not super important. Ion concentrations. When we dissolve an ionic compound in water, it separates into the ions. And so the ion concentration may be higher than the molarity. Um, usually we report molecular concentration, how many molecules per liter how many uh, moles of molecules, but in an ionic solution it can be different and sometimes that matters, sometimes it doesn't. If we look at calcium chloride, when we dissolve calcium chloride into in water, it separates into its ions. So you've got calcium ions and how many chloride ions? CaCl2. Two. So from one molecule, it's really a formula unit, we actually end up with three ions, okay? So if you're looking at the total ion concentration, you're going to have to take the, con the molecular concentration times three. One moles per liter, one mole per liter of calcium chloride would have one mole of calcium ion per liter, two moles of chloride ions per liter. You just think about it coming apart. Determine the molar concentration of calcium and chloride in 0.75 molar calcium chloride. So let's look at the unit analysis way of figuring this out. So we have 0 0.75 moles of calcium chloride per liter. And we want to know how many moles of calcium ions per liter. So the units tell us we need a factor in here that relates moles of calcium to moles of calcium chloride. 
How many moles of calcium are in one mole of calcium chloride? It's just in the formula. One. So there's one mole of calcium per one mole of calcium chloride. So that seems like a dumb calculation, but there it is. So the concentration of calcium ion is the same. 0 0.75 moles of calcium chloride per liter. If we want to know moles of chloride ion, put those units in so they cancel out. We're looking at how many moles of chloride in how many moles of calcium chloride. It's coming from the formula. There's a 2 after the Cl. There's two Cl's in one unit of CaCl2. So two moles of chloride to one mole. And so for the chloride, it's 1.50, actually just 1.5, 1.5 molar chloride because it comes apart. Okay. Any questions?